Okay. Time. Cyberpunk finally came out. So now I can play it. Let's see, let's see. Finally, it's time. Don't know how I'm gonna do this. I don't think my desk is even big enough to unbox this thing on. I do have a big desk though. Do some of this shit out of Hold on. This thing is kind of falling apart on me here as I'm trying to pick it up. Okay. <sighs> Holy shit. Okay. Ugh. Fucking huge thing. Holy fuck. Maybe I should just open it on the ground. Look at this. This is me next to it. This thing is huge. I don't even have the whole thing on screen. There you go. Holy shit. I knew I was getting like a big box like this, but I did not expect <laughs> something quite this large. Alright, here, let's take this the cover off. Oh. Oops. Alright, that's just the... The two... I don't know. Kind of just whatever. Like they don't. Uh, just like the sleeve there, which is just for show. And there's like that cardboard box I just took off. I think that just helps protect it when they're shipping it and whatnot. I'm not gonna play any more music because DMCA and shit. Holy fuck! Here, let me move it to the ground. Actually, see if this is better. Oh. Still can't see it though. Fuck. I'm a scrub. I don't know how to do unboxing videos. This isn't YouTube. There. All right. Open it this way. Oh, here we go. Here we go. So, we got this thing with a handle I'm pulling on. Oh. Cyberpunk 2077. This box is huge. It's like bigger than a shoe box. Not quite as long though. No, it's longer than a shoe box, but not quite as like wide. We'll open that. I can open this on the desk for sure. All right, let's put that over there. Uh. Now I've got this thing in styrofoam. I believe this is the model. So that's the box empty now. Nothing else inside it. I might be able to hide in it though. Metal Gear Solid style. <laughs> it's a little small though. I'm a bit of a big guy. This thing's surprisingly light if this is the model. It's wrapped up pretty good. Oh fuck it, sellotape. Is it sell tape the whole way around? It is. Uh oh, 
Should have brought a knife. Can I manage it with bare hands though? There we go. I'm an animal, you see. Undetermined. Ah, unrestrained, I mean. Strength. Here we go. Which side is... Oh, shit. Do I have to assemble this thing? I didn't even think I had to. I thought it was coming in one... I don't know. This way? Yeah. Also, there's a, cyber there's a cyberpunk logo here on the styrofoam. That's pretty cool. Even though it's just like, you know... Shit, the tape goes all the way around. There we go. So... Ah. There it is. It's the action figure. You got V here in the plastic bag, his motorbike, the guy he's crushing, and then the stand, I suppose. So we can assemble that then, real quick. Looks like it's only a three-piece job. And then we've also got this thing here, which is... Uh, uh -oh. Yeah. Should have cleared off my desk and shit beforehand. Would have been wise. Of course I didn't do it. Okay, anyone tuning in late? There's the box. There's some sort of gunk on the front of it right here. What the hell is that? Didn't come from me, that's for sure. It's like, you know what it is? Kind of like if tape, you know the sticky stuff tape leaves behind? It's kind of like that. A little mess over there. Put this over here. Can I aim this down? I need this to be a tiny bit taller. Things is on, put this on top of the coat. There we go. A little better. Open up the box. Is that how it opens? Yes, it is. Oh, the Holy Grail. Very nice. Look at this. This plastic sheet or something. It's got the signatures of every single person. Who I'm assuming worked on the game, right? How many people are on it? Or is this, are these people from the game? Or are they? Yeah, they're probably like the workers, I imagine. Why wouldn't they be? Here's the case. So, it's weird that I have one of these uh, PC digital download here. I was afraid when I was picking it up, they give it to me on a disc for PC. My, not only does my computer not have a disc drive installed, my computer doesn't even have a disc drive slot. So I couldn't even play a disc if I wanted to. Well, I could. I just had to open up the back of my computer and then plug it in and have the disc drives lying on the ground beside it. But that's pretty... Uh, I don't know. Stupid anyway. Here, let's take the sleeve off. There's the case. You got some... Uh, ooh, what are these? What's that say? El Coyote Coho. Or Kojo? I don't know. There's, that? There's the back. What are these, like postcards? Let me take a look. Yeah, they're postcards, stamp here. I doubt I'll be posting them to anybody, but I could hang them up on my wall with a blue tack. Got some guys there chilling at a pool table. Some sort of cyber pool. I don't know how that's fair. What's the next one? Regular ass, night city. During the daytime though. Looks very good though. Got some Japanese font there on the level, I'd say. Japan Town. Well, it says in English Japan Town, so I'm guessing there's Pacifica. So that's kind of like a uh, place where all the thugs hang out. Well, there's thugs everywhere in the game. This is like the real rundown place of the game, from what I understand. It looks cool though. This must have been what they had planned. Put that over there. Let's take a look uh, inside the disc. So, uh, spoilers, I've already opened this case before. But that's where my card would be to redeem the game, which I've already done. Have it installed so I can play it the second I'm finished unboxing it. There's a disc. I saw this disc and I was worried. So I was like, wait, it says PC Digital Download. Why is it giving me a disc? It's the CD for, uh, what was it, the music. 
The music by P.T. I don't know how to say this. Adam Sizik. Markin Pre Presbelwinski. Presbel I don't know. I'm Paul Leonard Morgan. At least one of them had a normal name. Got a few extra bits and bobs here. I haven't checked these stuff out before. There's your game. Welcome to Night City. Got some cool stickers here. The Samurai logo, Night City Heat, and the Cyberpunk logo. Hungry for more? This looks like an advertisement for merch, but sure. The jacket looks pretty cool. I, I am a fan of bomber jackets. What's this? Oh, the Night City map. Fucking hell. Yeah, let's take a look. Oh, shit. Oh, God. I don't even open this thing. Huh. Ah, that doesn't look that big, actually. I can hang this up on my wall, too. I used to have the Skyrim map up there, so now I can put a Night City one. Ugh, damn lights in the way. City Center, Westbrook, Haywood, Santo Domingo. And then out to like the east is where like the Nomad stuff. I think I'm going to do a Nomad uh, playthrough or background. Because I've seen people always go for Street Kid or uh, the Corpo one. I want to see what it's like. It's like a Mad Max stuff almost. That's some crazy. Let me put this over here. Won't get damaged. I'm not going to fold it up again. I already showed the disc. Put that over there with all this stuff. Assist the instruction manual. World Compendium. Take a quick break. Uh, so this is like your standard game manu manual. You'd read these coming home in the back of the car when you're picking up a new game. Very cool. Haywood, Watson. I think this is just like a lore thing though. It doesn't really tell you how to play or anything. There is the contents. Birth of Night City. Present day, Night City, Cyberpunk. Who the fuck are you anyway, Samurai, page 12? <laughs> Life Paths, that's what I was talking about. Life Paths are the backgrounds I was just mentioning. Present day, yeah, yeah, yeah. Badlands, sure. I'll read that in my own time. Do a different day. What's this? What, are, what the hell is this thing? This little cardboard box. Take a look inside. What the hell? How do I even open this? Oh, it's like a slide out. Oh. oh damn, well, look at that, it's a badge. You can, I can put that in one of my other jackets. What else on there? Something blue, I can see it. There's a blue thing under there too. I don't know what it is. I'm not gonna mess around with that just yet. I don't wanna lose any of this shit while I'm unboxing it. So we got four of these. So look, there's the first one. Then there. Here's the fourth, right here. See what's in this one? Eh. Oh, wrong way. More stickers. These look like uh, there's a trauma team at the bottom. Arasaka. I don't know what Quandra is. I haven't played any sort of cyberpunk related stuff before. This is all new to me. What's underneath here? Holy shit. How many cards are here? Look at how thick that is. So these the stickers on the first page there. And look at how thick it is. How many stickers did I just get? Just in that box. Cool little cardboard box thing. This is like the biggest limited edition thing I've ever ordered before. I have gotten a few limited edition things before, like Gears of War 3. Um, what else did I get? There was, there was a, there's a few other ones I can't quite remember. Um, I think I got a Halo one as well. Here we go. How's this for Pokemon unboxing? Oh, what's that? You got a Militech. Pistol and their logo, and then Night City Heat. This is this like a pin badge or something? I'm gonna take it out here. What the hell? Oh. Yeah, so you can hook that onto your shirt or whatever. Very cool. Here, try to rotate it a bit. Down, webcam focus, damn it. Yeah, close enough. Damn, that is sick. I like that one. I like both of those actually. Seems like it's made of a decent kind of metal anything anyway. I like that. Let's throw that in there. Look up the final one here. Number four. Oh, 
This way? Oh, keychain. What is that? It's the car. I don't know what this tiny thing is. It looks like a cassette player almost. Let me take it out. Eh. What the heck? There it is. Put those on my keys. If I owned a car, this would be perfect. I do like the look of this car though. Kind of like almost one of those 80 sports cars, you know, the retro wave ones. Let me take a closer look at this little square thing. Yeah, I don't know what this is. It's just the design. Maybe I'll counter it in the game. I can tell you more what it is then, but until now, it's just a no. Yeah, I'll show you the keys I have over here. I've got the Witcher. Printed on wood. Picked up fairly cheap. My brother got it for me for like a euro or two. Let me put these on. My keys here real quick. Just for... I don't like having too many things on my keys though, you see. So I might... He was a good boy, huh? Huh? <laughs> you like that? Jingling keys? Close up this box too. Don't know what I'm going to do with this thing. I've been doing like a COVID spring cleaning and now I've got a ton of junk. Well, it's not junk, but like this is all cardboard boxes and stuff I'm going to have to throw out. Well, I don't want to throw it out, but I may have to. Art book. Oh. Smells brand new. Freshly chopped tree. There's the back. Very clean and minimalistic. I like that. Let's just flip. Well, maybe I should check the page first just in case. Flip somewhere in the middle. Whoa. Ooh, North Oak. These guys look kind of fancy on the right there. Or the left, I mean, sorry. My right, your left. Page is a little. Very cool. There is a shit ton of pages in this. Let's go to the contents and take a look. Yeah, just do a quick little flip to the start. Four word. What's this? From the moment we first announced we're working on a game set in the cyberpunk universe to the release of Cyberpunk 2077, it's been a journey full of many firsts and giant leaps for, for all of us at CD Projekt Red. We had to shift to an all new setting and create a whole new cast of characters. Switching to the first person perspective to achieve a truly immersive experience wasn't exactly a walk in the park. Neither was finding the perfect take on the cyberpunk genre to fool the look and feel of the game. With the final result inspired by retro futurism, a kind of future that never was, it's been a while since we have ventured this deep into uncharted territory. The end result, however, is without a doubt our most ambitious game yet, made possible by the passion and love of hundreds of insanely talented and dedicated people. Everyone involved in making Cyberpunk 2077 has poured their heart and soul onto the smallest of details. You'll see while exploring the night city is streets and sky, scraping mega buildings, the stories it has to tell, and the people they involve, along with the countless other things to be found in between. It is my sincerest hope you'll enjoy the experience we have spent these last, these past years handcrafting for you as much as we enjoy bringing it to life. Welcome to the world of Cyberpunk 2077 Samurai. So, here on the contents page, there's a little concept there for you. Can't quite read it, it's too small. You guys might have a better time. Let's see. Styles, it has the styles there. Kish, Entropism, neo militarism and Neo-Kish. Then you got the Night City, you got the Mood, Districts, Mega Buildings, In-Game Brands, People of Me Night City, Characters, Factions, and then the Tech, Cyberspace, Weapons, Cars. All 206 pages. The last chapter is on page 206. Here. I'll try to set this down kind of and then flip to a few of the pages. There we go. There's the first one. Ah, my arm's tired. This book's kind of heavy. Very cool samurai looking uh, dude there. I'll grab a bunch of pages so we're kind of skimming through. Very cool. That on the left there is like the, they show that artwork off a lot. The girl with the pink hair. 
grab a few more. We are our chef. What's this? Neo militarism. Grab a few more pages. Night City, very good one. Dark too. I wonder if they have like wallpapers for these, uh, like posters and stuff. That would be very cool. Arasaka, some sort of corporation building. I'm busy right now. Thank you. Little China. What is that? I can't quite make it out. What's going on? That looks like the standard, like uh, cyberpunk that you'd expect. Skip forward a few more pages. Oh, this is the one we were on before, North Oak. How did I manage that? Dark, brooding. Exactly what you want from cyberpunk. What is this? Is this like a bin or something? Is the trash falling out of that? <laughs> I have to have eagle eyes to see this, I'm afraid. Ah, my arm! It's slowly being crushed by the weight of this amazing art. Santo Domingo. Kilroy was here and he's got a huge nose right here. I don't know if that's some sort of in joke. I, I don't understand, but. Oh, there's some cyberware. The red arm. What's that? Some Metal Gear Solid 5 shit. Hey, there's Johnny Silverhand. So there he is as Keanu Reeves on the left. And then on the right. I'm guessing that's what he was like supposed to look like. Kind of before he got Keanu Reeves' face. He looked kind of like this. What's that? Injustice for all. Some blindfolded woman being bit by a snake. Is that supposed to be like the... What's that thing? The Statue of Liberty or something? Not the Statue of Liberty. What's that thing called? It holds... Uh, you know what I'm talking about. The Justice thing. It holds like the weighing scales and shit. Panna... Panna and Palmer. Here, let's skip the character thing here. Don't want to be spoiled by these... Uh, characters I'm going to meet in the game. The Mox. Oh yeah, we've seen those a lot. Very tight underwear. I'm not complaining though. Tiger Claws. So there's some sort of like what? Japanese? Yeah. The Tiger Claws are based in Japan town. So they're like the Yakuza type faction. Voodoo Boy. These guys are like your Haitian hackers. Got some pistols here. What's this? Got some kind of chrome look to it. Tsunami. The one on the right. What they even say? Body Lotto is rigged. Some cars. Credits. Okay. I might do a, a separate video on that. Going through the whole thing. It would take a ton of time, but I could. It's the art book. Very cool. Almost finished. What's this now? Oh. This is made of metal. Well, it's not quite metal. I mean, it is, but it, it feels kind of almost like aluminium or something. Is it? Well, I don't know what's in here, so I'm not going to show you guys just yet. Oh. There's nothing. <laughs> so obviously this is where the game would be. Uh, if I was on Xbox or PlayStation. But I'm on PC digital, so they don't give me the discs to install it. That's fine, I guess. Very cool case though, I don't know what that is, some sort of spider thing on the head. Part of the Ma Maelstrom gang? Are those the guys who are obsessed with technology? And then we got this. Ooh. NCPD evidence bag, chain of custody. Let me read off what it says. Detective Bureau, O2 Haywood Station. Item number 12, case number 976503, date of collection, the 13th of March, 77, time of collection, uh, 0700, so that's 7 a.m., collected by Detective River Ward, one copy of A Visitor's Guide to Night City, annotated, stains, blood, marking cover, location of collection, College Glen, Ko Koyoaken area, I don't know what that is, huh. what's this on the back? Do not use this bag for any evidence that has wet, damp, or body fluids on. Didn't he just say it was bloody? <laughs> nice job, Detective Ward. So is this like a one-time thing? Like if I open this, is it like open, open? I don't know if I can reseal it once I've opened it. 
So I'll try and open it here. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay. Also, yeah, I'm in subscribers mode, so I don't get you know random people coming in, just typing a spoiler and then jumping out real quick. So you have to at least pay a fiver <laughs> if you want to try and spoil me. There it is, the guide. Let me open the. Oh. Look there in the bottom left. Just two guys. Bash and Dick, sword fighting. What have we got? Watson, Arasaka, Waterfront. So this is almost like uh, some sort of lore manual. I'm guessing this is supposed to be like an in world type thing. Your man, Detective Ward, found this. Who's that? Richard Knight. Crossed out his eyes. I'm surprised he didn't draw a mustache, but he already has one, so. Damn. There you go. So this is like a. a lower, is that a sticker? It is, but I think it's like part of the cover. Very cool. Again, I'll probably read that in my own time. It's a lot there. How many pages was there? Like 60 or something? 70. Oh, 67. That was close. Very cool. Let's put it back in the bag. Oh, the plastic is still a little sticky, so I guess I can real seal it. Ah, oh god, it's gonna be a pain in the ass to put it back in. Oh, no, never mind. There. Oh. Very cool. I think that's everything in the box. Case for the game. Our four things, pins, stickers and all. You get this manual. Well, it's not quite a manual. It's a world compendium. Games don't have manuals anymore where they, uh, they tell you, like... How to play and stuff like is there even a point i don't know let's uh grab this i'm gonna put everything back real quick it should only take a second put all this in here put that there grab these postcards which i'm going actually no let's not put these back in because i want to hang these up i'll get some uh blue tack later i'll stream and hang them up i'll probably put the uh i do have a shelf up here where my finger's pointing I was probably going to put the, the figurine up there, but for the playthrough, I'll probably have it down here, so it's at least in the background. And we'll hang these up on the wall along with the map. You get this little thing. Let's put that over with the map and do that later. There's the booklet. Slide that in there. Come on, there you go. So that actually goes in here underneath the thing, which I didn't show off. Let me do that real quick. Sorry to get motion sickness. There's all the signatures from, I don't know, I'm guessing all the game developers. Mr. No One, Carolina Melek, and Tropic the Dog. Uh, El Stanyaki. So this is a Polish guy, so I don't know anyone. Like, I don't know how to pronounce these names. So on. Philip Max Babic. Kendall Husband or something? I don't know. Very cool either way. I don't know if this is removable. I assume it is. But as you can see, it's kind of stuck, like, in there. I don't quite want to remove it just yet, but I could. Very cool. I don't know what I'm going to do with this box. I, I don't want to throw it out, but I may have to. Maybe not now, but down the line. Oh, look, there's a sticker here. Surprisingly, all the stickers I had, see, look, see where my finger is? All of these stickers for the box were already, like, ripped off when I got mine. So I don't know if somebody was trying to rummage through it or what, but... Yeah, let me just put that down. Very good. So while I was doing this before the stream, I was downloading the game. So I'm actually ready to play it right now. Uh, let me just, am I just, there's the map and stuff. There's the, look at all that stuff. God damn. Let's put this up here. 
I'm going to close this over. I'm going to put it back inside here because I don't need it right now. I can worry about all the all the art book. Got to put that in there. I do have a bookshelf. Actually, you guys are on my bookshelf right now. Very good. There we go. Looks much better. I do. It's kind of crazy. If you had told me would I be a fan of yellow and black, I would have been like, no, that doesn't sound like a good combo. But like, I'm loving this shit right now. They nailed the design. They won me over, all right? I was wrong. I shouldn't have judged. Let me put this over here. It's not too heavy, the box. Funny story. Um, I was awake at midnight last night and obviously the game came out, went live and I was like, oh shit, <laughs> I'm actually not going to get to play it until tomorrow. So, because I, I purchased an actual limited edition version of the game. So I was real annoyed and I was watching some streams of it, you know. It was actually, the things I saw, there was like nothing new pretty much. Um, you know, the first couple of missions or stuff they've already shown. So if you've been following the game, you've already seen everything. But I'm going to be showing you anyway for the first bit. And, uh, yeah, I overslept. I, I told my mum, right, because she was going to turn away to pick up the game for me. So I printed off the email that had my confirmation number on it and everything. And she thought, well, she came home and she's like, you didn't tell me that I was bringing home this giant ass box. I went in there expecting a game I could put in my purse. And... They got, she got there and like she has this giant ass box she was carrying home. She was like, I would have parked closer to the store if I had known. <laughs> I don't know. It was an early Christmas present. I was going to buy the game myself because I had pre-ordered it. Pre-ordered it. It was only 20 euro and they had to pay the rest of it like today. But uh, my mom was like, oh, since I'll, I'll pick it up for you and I'll pay for it. And it could be like a Christmas type present deal. And I was like, oh, sure, that's fine. Thank you very much. Also saves me the effort of getting dressed. So... I took a shower and just changed straight into my pajamas. We're ready to go for a full, like, I don't know, 18 hours until 6 a.m. So there is some dude getting crushed by the bike. There's the bike. I'm a big fan of motorbikes in um, these games. Like in GTA 5, I'd always use a motorbike instead of like the car. Very cool. Kind of, what's that? Akira, you know? Akira like red bike. Not exactly, but close enough that at least you could say. I don't know how this sets up exactly. There's no instruction manual. Let's grab your man V here. A little bit of plastic there. To Protect his gun that's on his back. Ah, uh, die, chat. <laughs> so there he is. So how does this work exactly? Okay. This dude has some metal thing coming out the back of him, so it's like this, I imagine. Oh. So, okay, and then we put our man on. What the hell? Oh wait, I see, I see a hole here. Never mind. Okay, I do see a hole. Any holes go? Get in. Ah. There we go. So he's like kicking off as a. Oh. You okay. There we go. There we go. Get in. All right, there was a little metal peg coming out of his boot. And it goes into the thing there. And it crushes your man here. I don't know if he's in properly. Yep. Let me grab you real quick. Give you guys a close up. Zoom out just a tiny bit. 
There you go. Cyberpunk on the bottom. I don't know what this is. Like a pig or something? What is that? A bunny? I think it's a bunny. Ammo clips in it maybe? Like a school bag or something? There you got some spilt takeaway. Some regular ass trash future. Go around. There's the bike. And your man on it. Very cool. This looks good. It's made a decent... Uh, Look, it looks like there's dirt on the tire already. Why would you go to this with such detail? Hey, I'm not complaining though. That is awesome. There he is from the front. Very cool. Very cool indeed. Oops, look at the Cyberpunk logo in there. Damn. That's everything for the unboxing. So in total, we got this statue, we got a huge art book, we got like uh, some sort of lore guide written like in-game, we got a, what is it, a world compendium, we got some stickers, some badges and stuff for our jackets, very cool, we got the soundtrack, we got that signed plastic sheet from everyone on the team, very cool. So we're going to hop into the game now, and we're good to go. Let me throw all this trash in my flower bin. <laughs> Ties the room together. Fortunately, that shit isn't recyclable, I don't think. Let's put your man V over here. Let me grab my keys. I like keeping my keys. Oops, wrong key. I keep my keys inside the keyhole here. Save space. I did have my birthday cards and Christmas cards over here, but uh, you know, uh, you guys can take a back seat for now. Let me drink some of this. We are going to start the game we've all been waiting for. How long has it been in development? Eight years? Ten? I don't even know. Okay. Get the mouse here. Get my keyboard ready. I do have to set up a scene real quick, so forgive me. All right. Play. Let me switch over here. Let me need to add a new source. Game capture. Add a new one. Cyberpunk. Add source. Specific window. Cyberpunk. Done. Okay, allow access. This is asking for access to the firewall. Hopefully I'm not getting hacked already. This game is a work of fiction, all names, characters, and events. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Warning, risk of seizure. You can watch this intro. I'm not there for some reason, though. Good morning, Night City! Yesterday's body count lottery rounded out to a solid and sturdy 30. Oh. 10 out of Haywood, thanks to unabated gang wars. One officer down, so I guess you're all screwed, because the NCPD will not let that go. Got another blackout in Santo Domingo. Netrunners are at it again, poking holes in the power grid. So damn. While over in Westbrook, trauma teams scraping cyber psycho victims off the pavement. And in Pacifica, well, Pacifica is still Pacifica. This <laughs> has been your man, Stan. Like I Join said, that's the kind of rundown, ghetto-like area. What's this? That was nice. Wasn't clicked on. Hold on just one second before we start. I'll tap it real quick. Skip frames, why? I'm not even streaming in 1080p, only streaming in 720. If my, if my frames start to drop, tell me and I'll try messing around a bit. It's unfortunate though. Yeah. 
four. Here we go. There we go. Sorry about that. I was disabling because I have, when you subscribe and you write me a message, the, uh, the thing reads it out. So I disabled it there. So now... Skip frames. 31% of the last two minutes or two seconds ago. Damn. Maybe I can't stream this game, it's too much. Some phrase not been encoded, it's telling you you need to hide some things. Okay, let's see. Okay, let's see. So Spotify. Tells everything you don't need. Let's just go for it and hope it's fine. Should be good, right? Also, how does the sound sound very loud? It looks loud compared to my voice. Can I go to sounds? I can. Hey, Chumba, to make Cyberpunk 2077 and its future expansions and content as good as possible, you'd like to ask your region to collect and process your analytics data, including error reports and general gameplay statistics. Your data is sent automatically via the internet and it's always 100% anonymous. You can opt out any time in the settings menu. Yeah, okay. That's fine. Settings, preset studio reference sound. Okay, so we want the master volume to be dead. Oh shit, okay. What about, it was 100. Maybe for like 75. Maybe it's just qu quiet in general. I don't want to mess too much with the settings. I may have to though, because I know it's not, the game's quite buggy and it's not exactly like um, what's the word? Optimized? So, yeah. I mean, uh, okay, I guess it's picked high for me automatically. I'll leave it at that for now. Field of view. No thanks, that's, oh shit, now you found a bit high. Is it though? Let's go 90. Radio. Maximum FPS. So a maximum FPS is 144 hertz on this monitor, but I want to limit it to 60, honestly. Um, I don't think I want to go higher than that. Window borderless. 1080. I don't think I need V-Sync. I might put it on, though. I have had some experience with bad screen tear in the past. Okay, sure. That's fine for now, anyway. We can monitor, we can do the uh, settings and stuff afterwards. Stack difficulty that we're going on the hardest. Buckle up for a serious challenge. Careful character development, the clever use of items, game mechanics, and the environment necessary to help V make it on the streets of Night City. Let's go. Okay, so I'm gonna go Nomad. Roaming the Badlands, looting scrapyards, raiding fuel depots. Life on the road wasn't easy, but growing up in a Nomad clan has its perks. Honesty, integrity, and a love of freedom. Qualities that few in Night City possess and no matter with money can buy. Okay, I'll read the other two anyway. Street Kid. They say if you want to understand the streets, you gotta live them. Gangs, fixers, dolls, small time pushers. You were raised by them all. Down here, the law of the jungle dictates the weak serve the strong. The only law in Night City you have yet to break. And Corpo. Few leave the covert world with their lives. Few are still with their souls intact. You've been there. You've bent the rules, exploited secrets, and weaponized information. There's no such thing as a fair game, only winners and losers. Let's go for the nomad. I like the idea of being part of like a clan or like turning our back on the clan to like do our own thing. Plus, everyone I've seen so far always goes for um Street Kid or Corpo, so. I'm V. I'm V. I'm V. I'm V. Strange. Why wouldn't you go for I don't know. Well what am I even asking? Hey, let's just do one of the presets. Is this gonna do from the trailer? Let's just start with this. I'm not too mad about customer character. Oh, it looks a bit blurry, doesn't it? I need to turn off uh, motion blur a bit, maybe. 
skin type, whatever. Hairstyle is probably the one thing you do want to change. Mohawk, man bun. I've ever played QE. <laughs> Damn. Reminds of your man Rufio from Peter Pan. I do like the switch back. And there's the man bun. Bald dude. Oh my god. <laughs> the filthy like rat's tail coming out the back. Hmm. Oh my god. What are these? Some of these hairstyles are disgusting. I wonder if you can change your hair. Like go to the barbers. Nice to doing that. 32. Oh, damn, they've got a decent amount. No, let's not do hair color just yet. Bald. I think that's all of them. Um, I might just go for like one of these um, simple ones here like uh, oh for fuck's sake it keeps jumping my mouse like my mouse is down here and it was like jump up to like up here I don't know why I'm not doing anything Hold on, there was one I liked, where'd it go? I think it was earlier on though. Very simple though. Was it this one? Kind of swish back. Not quite a pompadour, but very similar, number five. Was it this one here? I think. What's up? Pierce, how's the stream doing frame-wise? Because I have gotten some errors in the past. To all the bugs are gone, mostly gone. Hmm. Yeah. I know what you mean, but uh, I want to play it though. <laughs> Plus, they can always patch bugs out. Like. These days, what game doesn't have bugs when it first comes out? Like, honestly. What hair we want? Oh, look, we're going grey. I don't even know how important this is, because... Uh, it's a first-player game, so how often are you going to actually see your own guy? Is it weird that I kind of like the white one? Whatever color this is, it looks kind of whitish. I look at this. I heard that you need to make sure your dick is uncircumcised. Why? For better aerodynamics or something? Oh, yeah. Let's go for the white one. I like this. Look at them eyes. Anything to change there? Oh yeah, it is changing. It's very slowly. Hmm. Suspicious. I think he's just Asian though. Yeah, that's fine, whatever. Um, eye color. What the hell? Ugh. It's 
Gross. Why would you want that shit on your eyes? <laughs> Let's get the purple ones. I'm weird. I'm not weird enough for this stuff. For better romance options. Really? What the hell? Imagine willingly choosing to get part of your dick removed in a game. I never thought I'd be ready for that kind of roleplay. Why is our eyebrow color this color? What is this? Yeah, make it black. Is that black? That looks kind of bluish to me. Am I actually going colorblind? That looks kind of blue. What? Hello? Okay. The, uh, I don't really care enough about mouth jaw. This preset is fine, honestly. I, I never spend too much time on um, on character creation. Oh, I just realized he, like, this guy has, like, no jaw. At least give him a bigger jaw. Feels like a young guy now. There you go, my beard. Something like this. <laughs> I like that mustache that he had with that full beard, where it was, like, I want this mustache, but without the beard. Hell, yeah, too bad. Wait, you can choose beard style. What's this? Oh. Oh. <laughs> you can give him the mustache. <laughs> I changed my mind, though. I don't want the mustache anymore. <laughs> that is cool, though, that you can do that. All right, let's go for um, this one. Sure, that's the beard style, yeah. Okay, whatever. Beard color, let's choose a decent. That's it. Fuck it, let's just go with that. Is that the same color I picked for the eyebrows? I want my eyebrows color to match. Fuck it, that's fine. Alright, we're good. Cyberware. Oh yeah. Oh damn. Off. Now let's give him some lines on his face. I like number two. I think number two is the one they had by default. Which is why I'm kind of digging it. Well, seven looks alright too. Let's go for seven. And it's alright, Pierce. You can use my playthrough as a judge of like the bugs and shit. Knowing how lucky I am, or I mean unlucky I am, with bugs and shit, we're gonna see some crazy shit. Face scars. What the hell even is that? About this one, very subtle eye, facial tattoos. Yeah, no, I'm good. Well, let's see if they have like some subtle facial tattoos. Dear God, we look like one of those mumble rappers. Uh, actually, hold on. The ones on the neck. Uh, I was, oh, dude, I hate that. This is the worst kind of tattoo for me. They're this solid color, like black. Ugh, hate that shit. Yeah, let's just go off and then let's get like some sort of body tattoo. Piercings. Oh shit. I'm ready to go all out. I ah, fucking don't care. Teeth. Oh, it took, took them a second to render in there. Oh, 
Whatever, whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. Blemishes, nails. Nails. Long. Short, please. Yeah, let's just keep it default and shit. Nipples. Off. On. Okay. Snake. Eh. Eh. Oh, nope. I hate that one. Snake one's not bad. Eh, let's go with the snake. Fuck it. Body scars. I can't, I can't really see. We're so far away, but whatever. Genitals? Vagina. I don't see a vagina. Off. TOS? I think it's fine. <laughs> Penis size? Big. Small. Default. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's fine. Uh, let's go with default, sure. Let's not overcompensate, you know? <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> That's so stupid. I don't know. Fuck it. We got him. About seven points. What's this? So you can't go below three, apparently. Body body determines your raw physical power in addition in addition to allowing you to force open doors at each level of body, starting from level three. Add five health points, add three stamina points, increase damage of fists and gorilla arms by three, increase damage of melee weapons by 1.5%, decrease movement penalty when grabbing an enemy and wielding an HMG by 6%, increase movement when grappling, an enemy and enemy grapple duration by five seconds. Intelligence. Her net running proficiency. Maneuverability. Technical ability. Cool. Effectiveness and operating from stealth. I like that. Let's give a bit of cool, a bit of technical ability. Doing some intelligence. Hmm. Maybe a bit more of this. I want an intelligence. Let's go like this and this. Sure, but it can be a little weak. I don't think I'll be using melee weapons, but you never know. Yeah, there we go. V. Backstory, Nomad. Following the Badlands, looting scrapyards, raiding fuel depots, life on the road wasn't easy. Yeah, 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 we read that already. Yeah, confirm. Let's get started already. Nope, oh, game kind of started there a bit. Hmm, so it's begun. Hmm. I have to press spacebar. I didn't know that. <laughs> Remove patch. Oh, whoa, what the fuck? Uh, look at that frame drop. That's not on the stream. That's on me. Remove patch. Oof. The backers. Electric coupling module. You said it was nothing serious when I came in. You said you were sure. It's not a good look. First time in Night City? Pay close attention to tutorials to learn more about the basic mechanics of the game. Or if you're already an experienced edge runner, feel free to disable hints. Go to the database at any time during the game to access tutorials, as well as read up on the most important topics of Cyberpunk 2077. Gotcha. 
guess I was wrong. Can always look for another shop where they won't ask a lone nomad why he's hugging the border. A little better. I think it was just the mirror was messing things up. Smoother. I might lower the graphics a little bit, top of the mechanic. You can cycle through dialogues, choices with Q, up, or E. You know, I don't have all day. I'm gonna pay what we agree, check end and step aside, I'll handle it. I'd press F. That's fine. Step aside. What? What? Got any idea what to do? <clears throat> <clears throat> I'm thinking. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Yeah, yeah. Mm. I know about cars. Yeah. And your chirping is not helping. Yeah, that's, I'll, I'll bypass the coupling, whatever We're that gonna is. going to bypass the coupling and rig a hot wire. Compressor will run on and on. It could seize up. Did anyone ask Did you? Did anyone opinion? ask your opinion? Huh? Get in the car. Hold on, let me see if I can do anything here. Tiancha Pomelo. Is this is it not? Let's steal this guy's stuff. Take some cards. The Unification War for Gonks. Oh. Okay. What's this? Story paste. Okay. Stream Let's frame rate is suffering right now? Ah, fuck. 25% over the last two minutes, two minutes ago. That means what? Well, only 75% of my thing is going through? Hold on. Escape? Let's save. You can't save right now? Great. I don't know what's wrong with uh, my stream frame rate. I don't know how to fix it. I never really stream modern games, so I've never had this problem before. Skip frames, 26% over the last two minutes. That was 24 minutes ago. Oh, here it is. Skip frames, 88% over the last two minutes, a few seconds ago. What the fuck? My computer is good, but, uh, you know, streaming and running this game is tough. That's for sure. Let me change the options here. Gameplay. No, not gameplay. I've changed crowd density to medium. I doubt we're anywhere near a crowd right now. That's controls. Uh, graphics. Motion blur. Off. Lens flare. Off. Well, actually, no, it's not that on. Depends on how they use it. Uh, contact shadow. This is all shit on high and ultra and whatever the fuck. What is this? I don't believe gang. Let's turn this stuff kind of down. Like shadow mesh quality. Let's turn this down. Shadows range. Volumetric fog. Let's bring all this shit down. I don't even know what this is. Mirror quality. Let's take that down to like low. Ray tracing. Does my thing even? I don't think my graphics card even has ray tracing. Nvidia DLS uses AI super resolution to provide the highest possible frame rates at maximum graphic settings. I think I do have one of these. Oh, turn it off. Ray trace lighting. Let's turn off ray tracing. Um. Yes. Turn off ray tracing and turn on DLS. Should I put on auto? Oh, performance. Your card has RTX. Yeah, I think it does, but I've never used it, which is stupid, but I just never got around to setting it up. I need to, I could even overclock my um, thing. Turn the RTX light to off or medium. I'm turning it to off because I think I could play with it on. Um, if I was playing by myself, but because I'm streaming it on the same computer, the stream is suffering a ton. Let's try that, right, just for now, and see if it's any better. So let's close. Also, thank you for the subscription. 
You were 2070 super. Yeah, but I'm also streaming. And streaming takes a shit ton of power, unfortunately. Hold on. Let me get rid of this notification and then I'll see if it comes back again. From the CPU, not the card. I don't know. I might be doing GPU though, uh, streaming. How's it look now? Better? I am only sitting down, so. I'm not getting any warnings. I'm, uh, I'm not sure though, Michael. You could be right. How are you guys getting uh, frame wise? Coming through alright? It looks okay on my OBS. Oh, you can actually see my OBS on the webcam. Looks good? Oh. Was it really that simple? I'm getting a way better frame rate now though anyway, so thank you for now anyway. Thank you guys. It's like I was telling you. It's like I was telling you. Oh, Star Engine again. Not shabby at all. The question's how long it'll last you. It'll get me to Night City. Hmm. I'll figure something else out there. Right. The ray tracing is the hardest. Random on the card. Hey Alec, what's going on? We're playing Cyberpunk. I just spent the last hour unboxing the limited edition game. And now we're playing the actual game. What did he say? Doable? So doable? It sure was. Satisficing that. Not a solid fix. Yes, thank you. Welcome, Kiran, by the way. It worked. That's what matters. Oh, I'm looking for somebody. I'm looking for Jackie Wells. I'm looking for someone. Jackie Wells. Have you maybe... He didn't even answer me. Mm -hmm. Antenna on this heap don't seem like it packs a punch. Not liable to hear much. You don't say. Oh, is this line? Hey, Mike. Didn't know you had a customer. Uh, rolled in a few hours past. I, I, I thought he'd at least called in. Don't you me. swear to mind. We're gonna hash it out. Oh God. Corrupt, please. Don't you know you owe the sheriff a word when you pay his town a visit? To tell him what's brought you here. Maybe even over a cup of coffee. I'm just passing through. No need to worry. I won't be staying long. Didn't answer my question now, did you? No. Name's Andrew Jones. Andrew Jones. Probably heard of me. Nope. I can't say that I have. Served in spec ops during the last war. Silver show guns? Ring any bells? I can't say that it does. Uh-oh. Don't like to get along, do ya? What? Want me to lie? Maybe I should have. That a nomad vehicle? Might have expected that. I'll just fix it and go. I have no reason to linger. <sighs> nope. You sure shit don't. Yeah. He's trying to roll me out of town. Nothing boils my blood like a fucking stray. Oh, great. Where'd your clan pitch camp? Are you one of those who believe everything the talking heads say? The nomads are the world's greatest evil? No. I'm a man that respects order. The corpse brought us that order, and I intend for it to stay that way. The corpse pay you and have you on a leash like a dog. You know that? Mm-hmm. But you don't want to see me bear my fangs. So I'll ask again. Where's your clan? Can you guys hear the dialogue fine? I know when I speak it's way louder, but... There is no clan. There is no camp. I'm here alone. Ain't buying it. Nomads always stick to their packs. My family's in pieces. That's why I'm headed for Night City. Oh, I see. We're getting the background. Makes you an outcast among outcasts. Sure as hell hope you'll be on your way before long. I heard this place is famous for its hospitality. Glad to see it wasn't just rumors. You're damn right we are. 
when people come along who know how to behave. I saw broadcasting comms tower on my way in. My antenna's down, and I need to radio someone. What you need's to hightail it out of here without another word. Ain't got no mind to see you drifting around these parts. Got it? Got it? You like the sound of your voice, don't you? You like the sound of your voice, don't you? What's that, Drifter? What are you on about? Nothing. Nothing at all. Oh, fuck. How do I drive? Oh, oh, God. Oh, God. Switch camera cue. Uh. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I wasn't, I wasn't following the map, I was following the road. <laughs> oh, here it is. How do I slow down? I wasn't paying attention to controls. No license. Damn. I actually like the car, even if it is a bit uh, junky. What's this? Great. Oh, kick. I'm not very strong, so... I was just climbing the ladder. I was hold. What? Let's try that again. Okay. <laughs> oh. Connect the radio station. Hello. McCoy, it's good to hear your voice. Willie. <laughs> Gee, wish I could say the same. Why don't you, boy? Why can't you? You abandoned the clan. I can't help you anymore. I never knew you to be so cautious. Try and loyal. Rules are rules. The system won't work without him. It can't. Nomads get the work in these parts because it's nomad turf. Wouldn't be a problem if you're still a backer. You should have stuck with them. Joined up with the Snake Nation like the rest. Snake Nation can kiss my ass. I need your help. One last time. One last time. Again? <laughs> I have to find the client with my payload. But I don't know where he is. Hmm. Right place, right time. You were there? My car gave out. The electric coupling. It's a miracle I made it here. Maybe the client left a message. Could you check for me? Hmm. Sure. Last time, though. I mean it. Client's nice. name? Jackie Wells. Huh. Actually left a message. He's waiting on a farm. Clicking you the geolog data. Ah. Thanks, Willie. I owe you one. You do. Just don't get yourself killed. And don't call again. Nice. I know, um... So Jackie's your man. That, like, we team up with. I know in some of the other starting areas, you do, like, the mission where you steal a car. I wonder if it's the same. Like, will we go and steal a car now? With Jackie? Or is it a new mission? Because this is, like, outside Night City. So this is very different. Can I close this? Okay. Okay. Oh! Jeez, okay.
liking this so far. Entering your area, Dry Creek. Damn, his face is dead. Ah! I was not looking at the road on the map. Uh, out of the way, cactuses. There we go. Meet Jackie Wells. Do I have a gun? Oh, I was worried I'd have to turn to farming. <laughs> yeah, sure hope you're here for me. Are you Wells? And Jackie, por favor. I'm V. Seems you have cargo that needs to be moved. Oh, where I'm from, you share a bit about your soul before you talk biz, right? Eh? It's kind of like a custom. Or just good manners, you know? You're a man of principle? You need a backbone, cabron. At least you'll have that left when they've taken everything else. Hmm. Why don't we start with you, then? NC native, right here. Got Haywood in my blood. I've never been to NC. That doesn't mean much to me. So, imagine a place where everyone's like your bro or sis. Or a distant cousin, at least. <laughs> I think I understand. You don't have to like each other, but it's family. That's Haywood. That and everyone's back in iron. And you? I guess one could say I'm from my own Haywood. You and me, we're gonna get along fine. The cargo. What's inside? You sleep better the less you know. Got no idea myself, and that's a good thing. You don't know what we aim to smuggle? These are stolen corporate goods. Uh -oh. Stolen? <laughs> oh. Some gonk lost the crate. Some other gonk found it, passed it on. Now it's here. You know, butterfly effect or whatever. And there's no one looking for this crate. Ain't no problem if they look. Only a problem if they find it before it crosses the border, no? Let's load it in the car. I want to loot whatever this is. Surgical scissors, junk. Her. Started thinking you might not come. I got held up, and you weren't exactly easy to find. I decided to lay low. Record. You know? The sheriff looked like one grouchy motherfucker. Yep. What's this? Ooh, money. Forty-five bucks. All right, let's go. Open the trunk. Bad feeling about this. <laughs> hey, border crossing up ahead. What now? Nothing. They'll scan us and check our papers. <sighs> Hostel. Okay. Nothing I'm to declare. Talking. Great. I guess we have to go this way. Force me to Remain in your vehicle. The security check will begin shortly. I got a real bad feeling about this. You know they'll notice if you're nervous, right? You have to calm down. Right, right, yeah. Hand me the manifest. They'll need to see it. Grab these. 
Let me see. <laughs> it's marked LOA. Perfect. What's that mean? Lost on arrival. It means the cargo is flagged as to be lost as soon as it crossed the border. Oh, so they know we're smuggling. They're about to find out. The owner of the vehicle in the inspection area will report for further questioning. <sighs> Chingana madre. What now? We want the customs officer to turn a blind eye to our dubious docus. We'll need a sweetener. Do you have the credit chip with the bribe? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Forgot about that. Right. You forgot. <laughs> Getting a little extra bonus. I'll keep the engine running in case of a cock up. Do that. Yeah, they're not going to escort me or anything. I just have to go in. If you're armed, place your weapon here. Oh, I guess I am armed. SoCal Patrol. Now please report to room number two. Please sit. Papers. I know the rules. Everything's there. It might be. It might not be. We'll see. Hmm. What are you transporting? It's all in there. Everything? There's one additional enclosure to the manifest. Ah, yes. Remind me, you drive for which Nomad clan? None. No clan. I drive for myself. Bold. And none too wise. You know, whenever I see someone like you, I'm oh so grateful not to be on that side of the table. Go on now. Your associate's waiting for you in the car. Let's not be cheeky to him. Don't forget to take your personal items. Yeah. Be careful with that toy. And welcome to Night City. Seems like it's going fine. Imagine Night City is some kind of paradise. What can you do? Young, naive, which is just a what happened for there? I'll tell you soon. We need to get out of here. Yeah, okay. Let's say I have a bad feeling about this. Oh. Happen a lot to you? Rarely. Smelling trouble around the bend? Drive, Jackie, just drive. This dude's going so slow. <laughs> Someone's coming our way. This does not look good. Stop your vehicle immediately. Let's get out of here. On it. <laughs> You are transporting contraband that is corporate property. Here we go. I repeat, stop the car. Vehicles. Draw weapon, alt. Holster weapon and return to seat, double tap. As a passenger drawing your weapon allows you to lean out the window and use the entire arsenal of equipped ranged weapons. Okay. At least I know I get numbers. Action block. Uh, I must have shit in. I need to change my sensitivity. I'm gonna die. Keep the engine. Why were their engines already on fire? I should have got them to do that. Oh, 
god. What the fuck is that guy? He must have like 100 health or something. It doesn't let me go down back into the car. I'm gonna die! Maybe not. Who are those guys? We lost them. Corpos looking for their loot. Not sure my nerves can handle this. Keep driving. We can't stop here. I'm driving here. The place looks deserted. I'm gonna stop here. I need to sort out a few things before we go on. What? Fucking hell. Hijo de la chingada madre! First person mouse. You playing third person? What? Tag our asses! Is that what you it's call smuggling? Chicago! It was supposed to go smooth! No problems! If you think this is my fault, at least have the balls to say so. I don't know yet. Is it? Border security tipped off the corporation that we have their cargo. What's the deal with these borderlies flipping us the finger as they fucking please? With no consequences. He took a risk. He assumed we didn't have a clan back in us. And he was right. <sighs> so what now? I could ask the same question. Will you keep whining, or will we put a bow on this thing? Uh, I ain't gonna lie. I'm a bit light. Can't pay you now. What? I have something for you once I collect my scrap for this corporal crap we're carrying. Huh. And you just figured I would sit by patient. <sighs> Actually, Damn I wasn't gonna pay you at all. I'm just gonna bust ass and disappear as soon as we crossed over. But you're all right. I appreciate the honesty. Yeah, thanks. So, what's next? Now we take a peek inside. Ooh, let's see what this loot is. Open it. Oh, great. Aw, oh, shit. It says Arasaka on the crate. We are robbing some heavy hitters. And maybe we'll make some heavy money. What's that, lizard? Oh, my miss. A real iguana. A uh, lesser Antillian, I think. Lesser Antill what? Yeah, I watched the thing on TV about them. Went extinct like 30 years ago. They're from the Lesser Antilles. You come a long way, my scaly friend. You think you can make some money on it? Sure. <laughs> think it'll make us happy. Us? Yeah, partner. We'll go half seas. Any decent fixer will find a loaded gunk interested in a rare gem like this. It's kind of a shame, though. I always wanted a pet. Got the name Manny all thought out. Hey, by the way, you uh got any plans for what you'll be doing in Night City? I don't have any plans. I spent the last years traveling between states with my nomad family. I'll probably be waiting for you somewhere, huh? No. We decided to go our separate ways. That must be tough, huh? I have no one to go back to. But don't you worry. Let me help you find Diggs. You gotta live somewhere. It's important to have people you can turn to. You know, like, uh, family. Maybe you'll find your own down in Night City. Thanks. Much appreciated. Hey, come on. It's nothing. They got chemistry, you and me. Be a crying shame to waste it. Partner. Hey! Oh, cuddly little <laughs> fucker. 
They know it's alive. You know what, Jackie? You're not all bad yourself. <laughs> you don't mean that, Mano. Okay, partner. Time to grab the lizard and scurry out of here. <laughs> Do we have to keep the lizard or ask you in the cell? Hello there, Night City! Ooh, good story there on the audio. Stanley here with you, and we got another day ahead of us in this city of dreams. Oh, I love this town. <laughs> love it like you might love a mother who popped you out on the steps of an orphanage once and now stops you to ask if you got a smoke for her. Every new day here means a hundred new arrivals. But only half these gongs will survive a year. And that's if it's a good one. And why do these peeps come to NC? Well, to be street samurai like Morgan, Blackhand, and Waylon Boa Boa. The greater the risk, the bigger the bote, kids. Or so they say. But you can only be a major league player for so long. The faster you live, the faster you burn out. If you don't get a bullet to the brain first. Ouch. So we got the montage of all the missions we did. Time skip time. Know where you'll find most of them? The graveyard. Matters <laughs> not where you're from. Matters not where you start. What matters here is the walk you walk. In Night City. The city of dreams. All right, let's go. Chick we're looking for somewhere in this building. Good. Probably crawling with the pendejos that Half a year there. later. Eyes and ears open, all right? Speaking of which, got you a little something. Militech training shard. In case you need to uh, brush up on your dance moves. Hmm. Down for some target practice in VR? Militech? Jack, we're talking classified military grade shit here. How'd you get it? T bug. And our girl made a couple adjustments. Why? Think she knows better? Nah. Said it didn't suit her uh, style. <laughs> You'll see what I mean. Okay. Sure. Why the hell not? Why wouldn't we use the tutorial? Let's begin with basic combat training. This session will be recorded for subsequent evaluation. This course is designed to reinforce your fundamental combat abilities and hone your reflexes. Okay. The skills you gain here will help you survive, even excel on the battlefield. I will train you to be effective with firearms, to use stealth tactics to advantage, and to hack into enemy networks. Because at Militech... Man, Militech can't encrypt for shit. But they clearly got drilling jarheads in their blood. Now... I know you from the trailer. Station one, you maggot! Move, move, move! Alright, here we go. Combat basics. Let's blast through a tactical target practice program. You know, a little warm-up. Pick up the weapon. Okay. What do you say we crank it up a notch? Not bad. But it's more realistic if the quit standing around and take cover. I take cover. Let's see. You took a hit. Use a reanimator to patch yourself up. X to heal, okay. Head to the training area when you're good to go. Oh, look. Brought some tunes with him this time. You know what to do.
again on the platform. Tactics, the next item on the menu. You might notice I tweaked the course material a bit. Job-related items are highlighted in gold. Scan two such objects. How do I scan? Oh, okay. Hazards are highlighted in red. Hackable objects are highlighted in green. Uh, objects used in other ways are highlighted in blue. So this is a robot. I had to play a bit earlier, a bit too buggy for me, so I think I'm going to leave it for a while. Yeah, fair enough, you. I've had a few bugs, but nothing crazy yet. So. I don't mind. Wait, what am I doing? Oh. This training module will teach you how My mission stopped like the game and I come for us. Oh, really? Damn. Situations. Sorry Jesus to hear that. Corpo speak can even make hacking sound boring. Work a little hack magic on the screen to distract the guard. Use the screen. With the cyber deck installed, your scanner provides an additional interface for selecting quick hacks under targets. Use distract enemies to distract the guards. What does ping do? Ping the target's network to reveal all people and devices connected to it. Distract enemies. Execute. Trash. Oh. Style over substance. Good. Now take him out quietly. How? Oh, let's see. Sneak up to the guy. Alright, all yours. Take him out. Yeah. Never smart to leave behind any trace of your handiwork. Especially the dead kind. Now pick up the body and hide it somewhere. Did you enjoy it here when you were playing though? Before it like bugged out? You can hide dead and unconscious enemies in certain places. Doing so will avoid detection by other enemies. Gotcha. Okay. Oops. Now yeah. try to take him down in one slick move. Oh, there we go. Kill and hide body. Bit of a graphical bug there with the light. Like that? Think you're ready oh. to try hacking some gonks in real time? Have fun! Camera control. More advanced quick hacks will allow you to use the environment or enemies to your advantage. I see. Characters campaign and then wait for patches to the others. Ah, okay. But you went Nomad too? Yeah, I went Nomad. Um, Q. It looked like the other two start have the same beginning either way. More advanced quick hacks allow you to use the environment or enemies to your advantage. So yeah, let's see. When in control of a camera trait, you can still quick hack other devices and enemies. Hold tab and aim one of the guards. You don't have enough available RAM to, to use a detonate grenade quick hack. How much RAM do I have? Oh, I have nine. Breach protocol can be used to trigger network wide effects. Use it now to reduce the RAM cost of all quick hacks. Oh. To upload the ice pick, demon? Daemon? You must recreate his code sequence by selecting the characters from the matrix. The characters you select will be visible in the buffer. Breach protocol always begins with the first or after. Select 55 from the code matrix. Now, detonate the grenade.
Yeah. I, I did watch a few streams, so and plus the missions I've already watched on stream were all missions I've already seen anyway from like the gameplay trailers. So I don't mind. See? Just needed to shut your brain down and follow orders. In true Militech fashion. Not too shabby. Militech's algorithms put you on a decent run. Got additional modules if you want to hone any other skills. Before you finish up, dealt out now. But remember, the street's not going to give you any hints or I'm going to finish chances. the tutorial, because there might be something I don't know about. Right. So first, let's shape up those stealth skills. Tag all the guards. Oh, that's a middle mess. Enemies that are unaware of your presence will continue their routes. Pay attention to their behavior and patterns and use what you learn to sneak around them. I'm pressing Z for hacking, but I can't. Use all my Metal Gear Solid training. Uh. <laughs> okay, so we just need to find cover, quick. There we go. Break line of sight. Nice, nice. Now move slowly what? towards the exit. Stay out of sight. It's like move slowly, but then it stood me up. Stealthy now, V. You ever relive a ninja BD? Just like that. Nova, well done. Hmm. On to the next area. Keep an eye for security systems such as turrets, surveillance cameras, which can trigger alarms to alert enemies to your position. Now the same thing, only with the camera. Okay. Oh, what the hell? All right, I can use this dash, but it stands me up after I use it. I am behind cover, right? Back to your training, recruit. Huh. Nice work today. Hmm. Just all right. Stealth seems so very uh techniques for dessert. Then we wrap this party up. Liberal, I suppose. They're not they don't get like spotted like immediately or anything like that. Well I do have pretty high cool stat, so Huh? <laughs> Time to get down and dirty in close quarter combat. Take him down. But careful. Looks tough. Oh, what the heck? Oh. Okay. So you can't insta-kill strong enemies. Enemies at a much higher level than you marked with the skull icon are able to free themselves from your grapple more easily. Defeating them is extremely difficult, so proceed with caution. Okay, that'll do. Now maybe we find someone closer to your weight class. Okay. Charge, okay. Oh, you have to let go. Try to see how your attacks affect them. Let's bump things up from easy to normal. This next pool can block your attacks.
Fast attacks, not damage blocking enemy, only strong attacks can break them blocking stones. Stop blocking. Block two strong attacks. This fool loses his footing every time he swings. Use that. Get in there and land a counter punch. Right. Just before getting hit. Fool. I like that. B, want to see this fool punch in air next. Don't let him land anything. Pull that gun. How is he hitting me? Okay. You've done well in mastering the way of the fool, the princess. I can teach you no more. Huh? Oh, he's dead. Move on to melee weapons. Grab a sword. I've mastered the blade. Weave weapon. What the? Huh? That was weird. He was like attacking me, but I don't think I blocked Good. or anything. Now show me what you've learned. Final test. Defeat them however you choose. Oh. There we go. Can I block bullets? I don't think so. Good stuff. Looks like you're cruising already. Hop on the platform. Maybe there's an upgrade for blocking bullets later. Oh, we're done. Good luck, V. That wasn't so bad. What's the tutorial though? Let's see how it goes in a real mission. So? Not bad, huh? Now we can get down to biz. Hmm. <sighs> Will Kako give you any tips and tricks for the job? I'm not your mother. Just do what I pay you for. It's easy work. Sha. <laughs> okay. Let's do this. Elevator. This way. Can't put it on. Require level two. Fine. Hello? Targets. Sandra Dorset. Target's Biomon went mute a couple hours back. Suspected abduction. Target could have possibly flatlined already. Not sure you're in time. 
We're in time, Buck. We. Sure you're on phones, but that don't make you any less part of this squad. Squad. Charming. Bug, you could at least try to be nice. You want nice, supportive? Call a damn helpline. Sandra Dorset's protected under Echelon 2 Corpo Immunity. Our girl's top shelf. Jesus. This one's packing black market Zeta Tech repros. Typical back alley fix ups. Not our lucky gal. Let's keep looking. Dashed on this day. Oh, Jesus, scared the crap out of me. Any movement on 
the sensors. Looks like you got them. Clear to go. Oh, fuck. Shit, where the hell's our target? Look easy, around. Easy. Gotta be there somewhere. That's a load. Oh, it's probably here. How do I drop him? Man, that's not my favorite way to roll, but... Uh, okay. Um. Jesus fucking Christ. Oh, I looked around, buddy. I think I got her. Got Let's her. Forget the other guy. We make it? She alive? About to find out. V, Jack into our biomon. Need to know what we're dealing with. Uh, this does Jack not in. look good. Sandra Dorset, NC570442. Trauma Team Platinum. Platinum? Shit. Trauma should have swooped in if she sneezed. Guessing they jammed the transmitter, Sig. Looking at a hacked biomon. Firmware we could fig or a neurovirus. Carajo, T-Bug. You ain't seeing this place. This is tubs, ice, hooks, and cleavers. Hmm. Scott Muncher's hack, huh? Got an idea. Check her neural cord. Find a shard. Yeah, pull it. That'll be what's muting the biomon. Is that safe? Is that even safe? Can't we just get her out of here? We found her still breathing. Can't lose her. We need that biomon working. Checking for hemorrhages, whatever. Find that shard and yank it. Okay. Found the shard. Removing now. Check the biomod. Anything changed? Greetings, Sandra. If you are conscious, assume recovery position now. An emergency evacuation unit has been dispatched and is due to arrive at your location in 180 seconds. Biomon claims trauma will be here in three minutes. Your premium plan will cover 90% of the projected costs of your rescue and treatment. 90%. Let's get her off that ice. Oh, fuck. She's flatlining. What? V, need to know what's going Jackie, on. Jackie, air hypo. Fuck, this is bad. Hey, catch, what's all? Pulp fiction. I think. Holy shit, it worked. Right. Get her outside. Futuristic medicine just works on everything. Don't open that door, there's guys in there. Scav rats abandoning ship. Must have seen trauma. Decided to cut their losses. Landing. There's no guy right there. Closer. They just tased me for no reason. Seen this? There's a dude inside this covert. Or in this locker. How do I open it? F? What the 
hell? Did I kill this guy? <laughs> I just walked through the elevator doors. Almost forgot. Should get Wakako on the hollow. Tell her the job's done. No future. Okay. Call Wakako. <clears throat> v. How did it go? Our client is alive and well. Relatively speaking. Relatively well. Trauma team took her off our hands. She'll recover. Splendid. Your payment awaits you. Ready to come and grab whenever you like, even right away. But I guess home is the only place you wish to be now. Uh -huh. The NCPD has surrounded Watson. The district is closed. If you're to make it past the cordon, you must move fast. Thanks for the heads up. Swing by to see you later. Words out the NCPD is going to put Watson on lockdown. I'm gonna sleep in my own bed. Oh, tonight. level two. Oh, street cred went up. Leave it to me, Mano. I'm driving. I'm in my old car. I like that. Bottoms up. Every day, take it to break. Step in the pit with a stakes. City of dreams, city of gang. You don't believe in a fit. Can't stop digging night city. Step in the pit with a city like any other. It's bigger. Nah, my lord. Not just any other city. Morgan Blackhand. Adam Whelan. Adam Smasher. Legends are born here. Adam Smasher. One day. Let's grab a tight bite. What do you say? Jackie, they're locking down Watts. Oh, shit. Man. Right. Just I, know it. I don't like shooting from the car. I have my pistol. Fucking drive, Jackie. Holy shit. Get, I'm dead. What the fuck? I died so fast. I tried to heal, but I didn't heal in time. I know I picked the hardest difficulty, but damn. That was too quick. Do I change? Oh. Doesn't I have a machine gun? Huh? Oh. oh. I don't have it equipped, that's why. Oh, I don't have a machine gun. I have a shotgun, though. That's not gonna be great, honestly. Why can't I equip it? What? Like, not high enough level or something? What's going on? Drop, equip, left click. Click this maybe? Action blocked. Ah, oh, fuck. Take any more weapons, I can only use that pistol. <sighs> Gonna have to go try hard mode right away. Didn't realize. I can't go back in the car. 
and I can't change weapons. I have to use this pistol. So that's rough. It just says, like, you see, when I try to get back down into the car, it's like action is blocked. healing before I think a duck. Fucking drive, Jackie. Come on, B. Shoot. Can't block. Free heal. Because it kept killing me at the same spot. I think it's just a little boat because it's a tutorial, so it doesn't want me to do stuff. Like, I couldn't even change, like, equip other weapons there. I had to use good. One scrape from the courtier, still delirious. Fuck this city, my hood, my son, my turf, my block, my woods, my wrist, my back, my gas. They strap all black, all trap. Tending myself for the rest. Never forget in the past. I'm gonna have a good blast. All the sounds coming from my left ear. Right keep it one here. Slip up a trip in your day. What does the lockdown to for the nerd? Necessary security measure. Officer, ma'am. Damn, are we ever lucky we ran into you? Oh, really? This is annoying. What's it that makes me so special? A uh, heart of gold. Because only somebody with a heart of gold can understand just how much I need to get back to my girl. Your girl? Uh huh. I'm gonna be worried sick if I don't show up. Help. I mean, I'm trying to be a stand up guy. Ah, my headphones are busted. I can't hear you through the right earphone. That's a shame. Look at him. No model citizen, maybe. But he's a good kid. Yeah. Let me look for my second wire while this is on him. But they're the last. Okay, on your way. You have a good evening now, officer, ma'am. you not likely to make it back to Haywood now or kill me they let me through sure about that oh yeah I'll play nice guy I There we go. 
Had to change wire. The... Gonna be long. <sighs> Tell Misty I said what the hell? I glitched on top of the car there for a second. My, uh... I don't know what it is. I think it's the jack to my computer. It's just it's broken. Oh, level up. Now we leveled up. We can equip that jacket. Go home. How do I go up? Oh. Good evening, Night City! My first guest tonight is... Forgot earlier. A runner I know has something you could probably use. Zip in your deeds. Ah, oh, we got a job. And our second guest is Karina Lee, host of the Chip In program, which promotes the use of cybernetic implants. I love treating you, beautiful. Oh, stupid gates busted again. Third time. Paid the shipping for last. Gotta be some kind of scam. Get the weapon stash. Oh, your stash is a secure system for storing equipment that can be accessed from all your available safe houses and vehicles. For example, if you store something in your car trunk, you'll be able to access it from your apartment later on. Oh, here we go. So I've got some wolf school jacket. These vests without. Backers patch. Bee's favorite shirt. Hmm. My t-shirt's better than all this. Two point six, two point one. Oops. Oh then this jacket's way better. Oh wait. No, they're both nine point nine. Oh, this t-shirt. Galaxy t-shirt, rare. Also 9.9. .9. Wait, Katana, what? Cool. We just get a sword for free. Okay. Take all. That was that? Stealing from ourselves. Let's see the gear we want to wear. 9.9 .9 armor. 9.9. 9. 9.9. 9. 9. 9. 9. 9. 9. Uh, let's wear this red jacket. Oh no, no, no. Yeah, so we're put away the stuff that isn't there. And then we'll wear. Oh, a Galaxy t shirt. Let's not wear a hat. How do I go straight to my... Ah, why are you naked? <laughs> oh, I have no... I didn't give him any leggings. Give him some shoes. What's this? Mask we don't have. Jacket. T-shirt. <laughs> How are you, Josh? Where this one? Need trousers. 3.9. We can get these. Oh, the, the shorts are pretty good. Okay. 
There we go. Go to bed. Who sleeps on their bed sideways? I guess I do. Act one. Jagged into that corpo's biomine. Just leave this shit real no. quick. Neurovirus, sir. Need to see Vic. Let him tell me what's got my head reeling, my stomach churning. Okay, let me take you. I brought you a ride. Throw on some threads, meet me downstairs. Bounce back. Look in mirror. I have the mirror quality way down. <laughs> it's like really blurry. Alright, stop looking. Shower with my clothes on. That's not weird at all. How'd you find me? How'd you even know my name? I know where to gather my intel. Could even call me a collector. Later, Shit, come on! Oh, no, no, no. No, what the worst thing is about this place. Wait, you mean Fortino? Hey, friend. You good? Yeah. Need to discuss it. Hot to know you crime. Yes. Hey, yo, V. How about a round or two? What do you say? How you like my new punching bag? This gave me a next-gen ass oh, whooping he did. Curious to see how he handles the likes of V. <laughs> How's it going? Fight's about to start. Not gonna watch, take notes. Malone versus Hernandez? <laughs> nah. Our chrome friend here don't watch TV. Don't talk neither. The way he communicates is with them fists. Hmm. Where'd you get him? Where'd you get him, Fred? Off the street. Saw him looking up at me with these big, sad eyes. So I took the poor pup in, fed him, clothed him. <laughs> nah, for real. He's a military bot. Got a sweet deal. And a tumor of mine tossed in a few upgrades. Now, here we are. Huh. Let's do this. Light on your feet. Get that head moving. Don't step out of the ring, boy. Alright. Oh, I can't go out of the ring, but he can. something about fighting mm. I've seen you land in blows in the ring you've got sharp instinct good edge you can go far especially if you get chipped these fights let's just say they aren't legal but very lucrative yeah lucrative for who you or me both of us I get a small percentage of the total winnings you know as your agent Get the rest. Uh, what? Oh, I get it. You want to get rich off my blood, sweat, and tears. He's the hey, middle man. You got to make a buck somehow, right? At least I'm giving it to you straight. Fights happen in different parts of the city. You choose where you want to go, put down your eddies, and start swinging. When you take home the pot, manage to drop every last one of them, you 
get a chance to fight in the grand finale. That all clear? Crystal. Good. Oh, except you won't be setting foot outside or what? Not yet. You can start in Kabuki. I believe in you, V. Okay. You gotta Time fight your way up. City, what you made of. Now. Let's have a look. I don't have enough money for any of this. Dying knife. Has less DPS than the one I have already. Oh, it's free. If it's free, might as well take it. Oh, we can get a knife. I wonder if these knives change your um your melee takedown kill. I can get silencer too. Uh, that's not. What can we sell? Sell junk. Unity, unity. This is what I have equipped. Wait, no, this is way higher DPS. This is 63. 65.3. Let's sell this and this. What's this pistol? This also has a 1.80 headshot damage multiplier. We should use this pistol. You receive an iconic item along with a set of crafting specs. You can use these to craft better quality versions of this item. When a new version of an iconic item is crafted, the original item is destroyed. Iconic items can also be upgraded just like regular weapons or pieces of clothing. Upgrading improves our levels and stats, ensuring they remain useful as we progress through the game. Okay, that's cool. Thanks a lot. What happened to my katana? I must have put it back by mistake. Oh no, it's melee weapon. Mod? I don't have any mods, I don't think. I guess we can use a shotgun then as our secondary weapon. Hello, anybody home? If you hold all the things like this. So how do I put my weapon away? I thought it was double alt. Oh it is. By crime, there's fixers and gigs. Okay. Interesting. Mm. Man of the hour. <laughs> Jeez, took you long enough. 
Worked up an appetite, just waiting. Sit down, let me finish this. Oh, let me. Then we can drop in on Senor Vector. Oh, yeah, anyway. Didn't figure you was a type for Asian. Would have thought you'd find it too exotic. What do you mean? What's there not to like? Noodles? Check. Since sirloin? Check. Get some more chile action up in here, and you're looking at Mama Well's signature sopa de fideos. <laughs> Mentioned something about a surprise yesterday. Am I remembering right, or just had a brain fart? Probably both, because you usually forget shit. But it just so happens, I think I might have bagged us a sweet ass J O B. Okay. Go on. I mean, maybe it's not as big as that, but just that he's fronted by a little known someone named Dexter Deshaun. Only the top fixer in night fucking city. Fat ass black Jesus of the afterlife. Fat ass black Jesus. Yeah, I've seen this guy from the trailers. How'd you manage to pull this? Trading your spleen or something? As far as I know, we're not the type to get fingered by Dex. You know me? I'm not. But t -Buck, she's the one that hooked us up. Got us talking. Knew it was a done deal the moment he laid eyes on me. Cause come on, ain't nobody who can resist this. Am I right? <laughs> sure, Jack. Whatever you say. So what's the gig? We meant to come out in one piece? Our Lord and Savior wants to tell you everything himself, face to face. Oh, no pressure, but uh, this whole deal is riding on you now, I say. Why do I gotta go? You and T-Bug draw straws without me? T-Bug and Dex go way back, and my face is yesterday's news. Oh, Dex says he needs to check you, talk to you. Look, V, it's his job, his rules. I can't blame him for taking a personal approach. And it ain't as bad as you think, okay? Trust me. Guess I got no choice then. Choose orbital air. Dex is a real deal when it comes to fixers. Don't get me wrong. Don't got nothing against the Padre or Wakako, but Dex is a big soul, man. Not really, no. It's always the same story. You land on fresh turf, local fixer waves his dick around, but he's smiling, saying you'll be up to your neck in gigs and eddies. Still, all you are is another name in their little black book. Nifty tool for getting them a fat slice of whatever half-baked shit pie their client put on the table. Sure, you crack jokes over drinks, but in the end, it's biz. Gracias, Dios. Brought your wheels. Gave them to my guy yesterday to smooth over the dents after our uh, dust off with the scabs. Yeah. Thanks, Jack. Much appreciated. You can call your vehicle to the kitchen with a V. Top notch work, Miguel did. Right. Rides like it looks. Factory new. We'll see about that. Are we rolling or what? Let's feel this factory new. First stop, Ripper Duck and Holmes. Easy on the gas, huh? I just ate. I was supposed to stop by Vix anyhow. I got a date. Me and Miss D. You don't say. She's so sweet. Really gets me, you know. We're in the city. Finally. Oh, shit. We're not in the desert anymore. I can't just do crazy 180s. Yeah, this is it. Come on, V. Find me once Vic's done dusting your circuits. We'll hash out what Dex has cooked up for us. It's a little laggy. It's not terrible. Not belong to you, or rather, not only to you. Do you truly believe that those who have sold you your mechanical eyes have resisted the temptation to be with them? 
cameras are all around us, even within us. Your joys, your worries, your life. For them was watching and giving a damn, I'd have half the city's underworld and half its corpse on my ass already. And if you are their pawn, unknowingly carrying out their secret agendas. Dr. Vector will see you now. I'll sit tight over here. Me and Misty got a little catching up to do. In their residence, they placate their weary and oppressed. Pet? Can I pet this kid? Oh, the cat. <laughs> that makes more sense. This kid's got a gun. You want to go, kid? Think you're hot shit? Uh Now I wanna lose his gun. It's fine. Smart link cyberware required to enable smart card. What why does a kid have a smart weapon? Why the smart link to unlock the full potential of their targeting systems? To install one, be sure to visit your trusty Ripper doc. Okay. Oh. Vicky, surprise. Just ran through the fence. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Every old Ripper, it's good to see you. Good to see you too, Pete. Oh, wow. Hey. What do I owe the pleasure today? Last gig. Had to jack into a client's neuro socket. Think I might have gotten spiked. Experiencing migraines, nausea, hypersensitivity to bright lights. Old kit and caboodle. All right, kit. We'll sort you out in a flash. Besides that, how are things? Met a new fixer. He gave me a job. Name's Dexter Deshaun. Known quantity from the afterlife. No denying you're moving up. But something you're not telling me, Vic? Keep your guard up, that's all. I've heard some things about Dex. He's not as chill as he makes himself out to be. Hmm. Need some new kit, but the tools, not toys, Vic. Time I bumped up my sights and got a grip. <laughs> really? Now? Finally? Vic, shit's getting real. Got a job from Dex to Sean, hitting the major leagues. I need tech that can perform. The Dexter Deshaun? <laughs> well, that is something. But let me guess. Hasn't paid you yet. Quit crying, Vic. I'll bring you the Eddies later, with interest. You know I will. 21,000, mm. damn. Last time, you hear? Chair, please. Sit down and relax. Kuroshi Optics. Best I've got, and should be about right under the circumstances. Now, Jack in. That's top shelf tech. Kuroshi? Whoa. Vic, nothing tops that on the market. Hmm. Sounds like it could come in handy then. I gave you my word I'd pay you back, but this might be too rich for my blood. We'll work something out. Right now, I'm just out to make sure you get back in one piece. Eddie's in hand. You peruse and choose while I scan. Let's see what's going on inside. Yeah, cybernetic implants are mechanical replacements for the organic parts of your body. They can give you superhuman-like abilities, which can improve your combat capability and help you survive in hazardous conditions. Although a common practice in 2077, the installation of cyberware is still an invasive and sometimes dangerous medical procedure. Only specialists known as Ripper Docs are trusted to install cyberware safely. Okay, hands. 
ballistic co-processor. Increases the chance to ricochet shots with power weapons. Directly links the user's optical implant to the weapon system, offering real-time data tracking. Okay. And an ocular system. Got the eye. What else have they got? Frontal cortex. Memory boost. Defeating an enemy instantly recovers one cyber deck RAM unit. Increases cyber deck RAM recovery rate by 0 0.05 units per second. Okay, I can get three of those. Oh wait, I need a required level though, don't I? Oh, we need eight intelligence. Oh damn. Got some crazy shit. Immune system. He doesn't have any. What's this? You need 12 technical ability. Oh, double jump, nice. 45,000 though. Got rid of arms. Mantis blades. Mono wire. 20 street grab before you can get that stuff though. Mark one, like I said. Decent enough scanner. Displays data on your cornea. Cherry on the top's a built-in external lens disruptor. In layman's terms, any surveillance cam will capture your face as a blur. Convenience. Just remember, your body will still show up as crystal clear. Hmm. This should do the trick. Talks to Kuroshi Tech too. I'm ready. Carve away. Excellent. Let's do this. Lay that major league arm of yours right here. Just like that. Thanks. Now, a bit of anesthetic and I can start cutting. Feel anything? Play by play, though. Really, Doc? Makes you sound like a dentist. Always going on and on. Don't be mean now. Remember, I'm old. I got a shaky Gannick hand. Could slip. <laughs> Lights out for a minute, all right? Never like that shit. Imagine they went going through that on VR or something. That'd be crazy. Let's test this. See the magic in action. Linking you in. You might feel a little discomfort at first. Blurred vision, low contrast, glitches. Oh, I'm seeing some glitches, all right. <laughs> His finger is bugging through the eye. Well, how's it look? Feel all right to you? Oh, this is fantastic, Vic. Oh, beautiful. Scanning people with your optical cyber can provide you with a lot of useful information. Time for the scanner. It might take you a few seconds to adjust, but first time's rarely the charm <laughs> with anything, really. Scanner should eventually sync with your thought processes and read your intentions. Oh. Let's give a lot of frames there. All those stuttering. I also inject an NCPD file search. Run into any ne'er do wells? <laughs> you know exactly what they ne'er did well. Database of individuals with bounties assigned to them is now available to you. You can identify these wanted persons with your scanner. Since all the wanted dead or alive, the methods you use to claim your reward is entirely up to you. <laughs> It ought to work like a charm. Now draw your weapon. You should see your ammo count in a brand new sight. How about the neurovirus from the last job? Can you check it? 
Done and gone while we were putting in your implant. And a full sweep on your soft and circuits. Zap the critter. You're certified bug free. Shit, Victor, not bad. I don't know what to say. Say you'll take this and remember the dosage. Two whiffs now, and another two in an hour. What am I looking at? A mild stem. Should boost neurotransmission in the short term and muffle some of the side effects while the implant takes. Hmm. Thanks again. You're the best. I owe you. Go on, kid. Show them what you're made of. And once you hit the big leagues, don't forget where you came from. Damn, real laggy in there. See if it's any better because it did seem kind of okay. Just taking some line, move your ass. Your heart chakra looks oh. a little out of whack, babe. I can release it for you, but you'd have to watch out for negative energy fields and avoid mean reds. V, Anything yo, listen up. I talked to Dex while you were in with the doc. He's waiting in his ride for you. Ain't but a hop to where he's parked next to Gramsci Burgers. Okay. Do my best to talk us up. Meet with Dex. V, listen. I've got this delicate matter. That's why I called you. The number of cyber psycho attacks in the city is on the rise. Now, that's probably not news to you, but this issue matters to me for a few reasons. There are people who say cyber psychosis can be treated. Right. And I know exactly how that sounds. But I believe even an unproven therapy is still better than a bullet to the brain. If I get a tip about a possible attack, I'll give you a call. Maybe you can investigate before Max Tack hits the scene. But remember, you're not there to execute anybody. Try to incapacitate the attacker, and I'll send someone to pick.